Hi friends, Miss Hudson here. We're going to do a picture walk through this illustrated timeline of inventions and inventors. I wanted you to be able to see the rest of the timeline, not just the first couple pages. Um, so let's take a look. This book is by Cremena T. Spengler, illustrated by Rick Morgan. An illustrated timeline of inventions and inventors. So we took a look at this page with fire, stone tools, needles and thread, the calendar, clay pots, objects made from copper, the invention of the wheel. We talked about planting and weaving. Here's some ancient Egyptian inventions. The development of glass. We've got aqueducts. The alphabet, this is a writing, a form of writing here. We've got the sundial, the abacus. This is the first calculator. Windmills, the first compass made by the Chinese people in 400 BC. Here we have the invention of paper paper money, gunpowder, which lets you do fireworks, ah, the Fibonacci sequence and Arabic numerals being brought to Europe, the printing press, the musket, the telescope. And here is an early microscope. So we developed the ability to use glass lenses to look far into space and to look at very tiny and almost invisible creatures. They're not invisible though, if you have a microscope. Here's some inventions like the thermometer, the submarine, a steam engine, the hot air balloon, a cotton gin that separates the cotton to make fabric, the metric system, so feet versus meters, Making electricity. This, in 1796, we have Edward Jenner creating the first vaccine. So here we are in the 1800s, and this page is titled Building Steam. So we've got the steam locomotive. We have the invention of canning so that we can keep food for a long time. The invention of the stethoscope to listen to hearts and lungs. The fire extinguisher, very useful. The electric motor. The system of braille for blind people to read and write. And the invention of the photograph. Here's some more inventions of the 1800s. We've got the sewing machine, the lawn mower, and here's a picture of a computer, which was not invented in 1834, but Charles Babbage did begin designing the analytical engine there. And the ideas behind that math machine did lead to the invention of the computer later on. So we've got the horse-drawn reaper, the Morse telegraph system, the invention of the elevator, the internal combustion engine. This is a gas powered engine like our, we have in many cars today. And here's a passenger airship called a dirigible. I'm gonna start going a little bit faster here and just let you take a look at the page. So we can see lots of inventions here in sights and sounds in the 1800s, like the light bulb and the telephone typewriter. Here we have Tesla and the Tesla coil, a gasoline powered car with three wheels, and George Washington Carver, an American inventor who developed uses for the peanuts, including soaps and dyes and paints, all made out of the resource peanuts. Here's the x-rays, invention of the x-ray. 
All right, now we've got some transportation inventions here. We've got the invention of the airplane, the Ford Motor Company Model T car, the windshield wiper. We've got the assembly line for cars, movies, the zipper, and the refrigerator, all being invented in the early 1900s. This page is titled Lifesavers, Traffic Signal, TV, Light Bulb, the Fluorescent Light Bulb, Penicillin, a medicine that's used to kill bacteria, Personal Helicopter, and the invention of chocolate chip cookies in 1930. Oh, and there's the invention of the walkie-talkie too. On this page, as we're moving through the 1900s, mid-1900s, we've got the color TV, ooh, the atomic bomb. There's more vaccines being developed. The transistor, another key to computer technology. We've got the first jet airliner. A laser communication satellite, the Kevlar vest. Oh, the beginning of a computer network in the United States. The first cell phone, the first personal computer. Here's some old technologies that your parents are probably familiar with, like music compact discs and uh, the World Wide Web. How about this one over here in 2010? The invention of the iPad. Here's a DVD that plays movies. And this is a bionic eye. We also had the space shuttle Columbia launched in 1981. That's the year that I was born. So you can maybe research your own inventions and think of how you would put them on a timeline, or you can start building your own inventions out of engineer's treasure that you find around your house. Thanks for looking at inventions with me. Bye-bye.